The three best ingredients to treat rosacea and how they work. And yes, we're talking both prescriptions and over the counter. Rosacea is a condition that a lot of people deal with, but not a lot of people understand. And we've actually gone into depth about what triggers rosacea, what makes it worse, and what some of the causes are believed to be. Now, rosacea is a medical condition that needs to be diagnosed by a doctor or dermatologist, but a lot of people struggle with it, not realizing that they have it. It's characterized by this red flushing of the skin, specifically if you come in contact with something that is a trigger. So for instance, hot or cold foods, if you drink alcohol like wine, or even changes in weather or sun exposure. And for some people, this can be genetic. People who have Celtic backgrounds or genes often struggle with more rosacea. It's usually seen in Fitzpatrick photosensitivity types one to three. And although it can happen to anyone at any time, it usually happens as people get a little bit older. Sometimes in the 40s or 50s, it tends to show up. But we've already done a video on rosacea and speaking about the different stages. For instance, papulopustular rosacea can sometimes look like acne and sometimes people get it wrong, which is why it's important to see a derm to make sure you know whether it's acne or whether it is rosacea. And for some people, they can actually struggle with ocular rosacea, which is very painful, as well as a related condition, rhinophyma, which can actually defigure the nose. Now, while we have the entire video available, what are some of the best ingredients that you can look for? Again, either over the counter or through a prescription. There are quite a few and we are going to go through all of them, starting with some that dermatologists and doctors actually recommend. Topical ivermectin has been used for years, and it's generally well tolerated, meaning that people don't usually have irritation or redness, which is one of the main issues of rosacea anyways. Topical ivermectin is known to be anti-inflammatory and anti-parasitic. Now this is interesting because of some of the things that are related to rosacea, specifically demodex mites. Demodex mites are a part of our biology. They are these little mites that literally live in and on our skin. <laughs> and unfortunately for people who have rosacea, there seems to be some sort of a link between these demodex Demodex mites and rosacea flare-ups. And topical ivermectin has been shown to help get rid of some of those demodex mites, as well as be antiparasitic in general. It can really help with the inflammation as well, some of that papulopustular rosacea. But again, this is a medication, so it needs to be prescribed by a dermatologist or doctor. This is one that I get regularly for my acne, but they basically combine different ingredients together. And they actually have other ingredients as well, such as metronidazole. Now this metronidazole is another ingredient that is commonly used for rosacea. It's a type of antibiotic. And and if you've seen a doctor or derm, they might have given you oral antibiotics, but antibiotics can also be used topically on the skin. Metronidazole is a great one, and again, it's been proven to help with rosacea time and time again. But it also helps with erythema, or that redness, as well as being anti-inflammatory. Now, what is that gold standard in dermatology for acne, for wrinkles, that also helps with hyperpigmentation? Retin-A, or tretinoin. And yes, retin-A, or this vitamin A, tretinoin, can also be used for rosacea. Retinoids in general have been proven to be helpful for rosacea, especially the type that is papulopustular, so the ones that kind of have those little pimples. Because tretinoin helps to speed up skin cell proliferation and basically tell your body to create new skin cells faster, it allows the skin to thicken at the dermis and thin out at the top layers, which can create this luminous retinoid glow that we often see. But yes, this can be helpful for people who have acne as well as for people who have rosacea um, or a combination of rosacea and acne. Now do remember you have to see a dermatologist or a doctor to get A, diagnosed but also B, to get these things prescribed to you. And although you could get them separately, you could also get them all blended or customized into one. That is what Dermatica does. They are one of the prescription brands that I've been using. It's because of Dr. Mamina. She's one of my favorite doctors and dermatologists on TikTok. And she both loves Dermatica and works with them regularly. Now this is my blend, so it's going to be different than anyone else's. But mine is made for acne, as well as some of the subclinical rosacea that I do have. But I think it was last year that Dermatica did release kind of a rosacea option, so that they basically have have this metronidazole. They basically have this topical ivermectin, and they can blend these in together to a custom treatment for someone who needs it. Now, they also have over-the-counter things, which you're going to talk about, such as things like niacinamide. That is what's personally in my blend. But essentially, they have doctors online who can actually take a look at your skin, help assess it digitally, and then provide you a custom blended prescription with actives that are actually chosen for your skin so that they have a better chance of working for you. They come every single month, so every 28 days, and they are $25 a month, but the good news is that they do have sales. I've worked with them in the past and we're working with them again on this video and they actually have a discount where you get the first month completely free, the second month is $19.99 and then it goes up to $25. I've been using this for my acne but it does work for rosacea and again yours is not going to be the same as mine. Everyone's is different because it is custom blended. But do remember that you have to get these ingredients prescribed by a doctor or dermatologist and that also goes for the ingredient bromonidine. Bromonidine is often used in medicine for things like glaucoma but it is actually helpful topically for rosacea as well. It works as a vaso 
vasoconstrictor, meaning that it constricts blood vessels. And for those who have this redness, this flushing with rosacea, this bromonidine can really, really help. Again, all of these have to be prescribed, but what if you're like, hey, I do want some over-the-counter options. Is there anything available? They're not going to be as strong or as effective as a prescription, but yes, there are a few things you should know about. The first one is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is one of the dicarboxylic acids that is amazing for rosacea, and it's actually really good for acne as well. It really works for the pimples and the redness that are associated with rosacea, and it kind of tells the skin just to calm itself down. It really is soothing on the skin, and you can get a prescription form of azelaic acid if you get a higher dose, but if you wanted something over the counter, the Ordinaries is great, but Dr. Sam also has a fantastic one. This one is the neutralizing gel. This has azelaic acid, but it's combined with salicylic acid, that BHA that we know and love for acne. If you are someone who struggles with rosacea, but you also have acne, this is going to be one of the best products you can get. This is one of my favorite products that I've ever used. You can use it as a spot treatment or you can smooth it all over. But if you're just looking for azelaic acid and you're a little bit more price conscious, this one from The Ordinary is great. This is the azelaic acid suspension 10%. This one can come off a little bit grainy, but for like seven to eight bucks, the price is right. And again, that is the active ingredient that really helps with the redness and some of those little pustules that are associated with rosacea. Another really good over-the-counter option is vitamin B3 or niacinamide. We love niacinamide because it brightens the skin. It helps our skin create ceramides and strengthen our skin barrier and regulate oil production. And it also helps with hyperpigmentation, but a lot of people don't realize that it helps with rosacea as well. Again, my little Dermatica prescription does include niacinamide, depending on what your doctor recommends for you, yours might or yours might not. But I really love this to smooth over my forehead and my nose and kind of my chin where I do get my oiliest and where I do kind of struggle with my little subclinical rosacea flares. Niacinamide is really great because it's very stable, meaning it plays very well with almost all other ingredients in a skincare routine. And some people are afraid of niacinamide and vitamin C, but you really shouldn't be. If you're mixing niacin with 100% vitamin C, then maybe that's a concern. But when it comes to niacinamide over the counter, even if you do have a vitamin C in your routine, I wouldn't worry about it but we've actually done videos on that entire topic, which I will link down below. Niacinamide is fantastic for rosacea as well as if you do have hyperpigmentation and if you're someone that struggles with both or if you end up picking your lesions and they leave little marks behind, niacinamide is a great over-the-counter option. Now, what I find so unfortunate about rosacea treatment and education is that most people miss one of the main components, SPF, our BFF. The sun is one of the biggest triggers for rosacea and we know that people who go in the sun or if they get sun exposure, it can often cause rosacea to flare and then to worsen over time. Not to mention we know that the sun also contributes to hyperpigmentation, to acne scarring left over, and it degrades collagen, which can cause wrinkles and fine lines. SPF is your BFF for a reason, and yes, that includes rosacea. Sunscreens are some of the best products you can use to both treat and prevent rosacea, as well as skin cancer. Now, when it comes to rosacea, there are different sunscreens for different people. Some people are going to like the Cosmetic Elegancy, Elegancy? Elegancy, elegant. Is elegancy a word? No, it's elegance. Some people do like the cosmetic elegance of a chemical slash organic formula. This is one of my favorites that has hyaluronic acid. It's super hydrating from Isentry. This is a great option, but for some people, especially if you have kind of pustular rosacea, some of the chemical sunscreens can sting. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for a mineral option, this is one of my favorites. This is the zinc screen from Supergoop. This is 100% mineral. And those mineral formulas are made with things like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. This one has zinc oxide, and those are usually a little bit more gentle on skin, especially if you are someone who has a lot of sensitivities. SPF is one of the best things for rosacea, and especially if you use some of these together, you can really create a great routine that not only treats rosacea, but also prevents future flare-ups. I've left a list of some of my favorite rosacea products below, as well as an actual rosacea skincare routine if you want an entire guide. But if you also want one month of Dermatica free, as well as that discount for $19 and then for $25, I will also leave that and a code below for you. Do remember that Dramatica doesn't just help with rosacea, they also have these custom blended formulas that can help with things like fine lines and wrinkles, like acne, which is what I use, as well as for things like hyperpigmentation. But again, that is for a dermatologist to look at your skin and address and assess, and then create a custom blended formula to meet your needs. Another thank you to Dermatica for number one, introducing me to Dr. Mamina, who I love and adore, and number two, for working with us on this video, as well as helping make this rosacea education and information possible. But remember, this is not medical information, that's for your doctor to give you. <laughs> Do remember to reapply your SPF, especially if you have rosacea, and always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you beautiful butterflies, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys, bye.